Hello everyone, this is Dr. Akin Marie now. Welcome to my success video. Today we want to talk about psychological well-being as it relates to job satisfaction, meaning, and purpose. You know, when we talk about psychological well-being, we're talking about your levels of positive functioning in your world as it relates to relationships, as it relates to your career, as it relates to your entire world. How well are you functioning in that? You know, there are two ways to measure this. The first way is the things that you are is more subjective. The first way is uh it's subjective because it has to do with what you enjoy doing you know what, what do you enjoy doing um how high is your level of satisfaction with with your life you know current life and then the other way we, we measure psychological well-being is um in terms of purpose and in terms of meaning meaning in life you know how why are you finding meaning is there a reason for being in your life um psychologist um carol reft says that you know that there are six ways you can measure psychological well-being self-acceptance environmental mastery positive relationships personal growth purpose and life and autonomy and i'm not going to go into all of those um today you need to attend one of my workshops so you can learn those uh, but today we want to look at uh, we want to actually just look at purpose uh, in work because what happens is we, you know we are purposeful beings there are, we if we engage in something that is meaningless and we engage in that for a significant length of time then we you know the end the result is frustration the you know um, um, depression anxiety so we want to make sure that we we engage when we're engaging in in, in in jobs and careers we want to make sure that we find satisfaction in, in within that space you know 90 you every it, research shows us that we are going to spend about 90,000 hours on the job over the course of our lives that's a lot of hours that's a lot of hours so it's it, it is it is almost imperative that we we engage in work that is meaningful and you know the purposeful work is more is very important nine out of ten workers actually said that they will take a pay cut if it meant that they had the opportunity to participate in them in work that is more purposeful so you know because what purpose does is it answers the fundamental why why am i here why is what does this matter what does what i do matter you know uh, why is it is why am i working on this task you know and so if you can't answer that why then there's no meaning and when there's no meaning then the productivity is reduced you don't engage at work as you should you know because we're wired human beings are wired to connect and to be purposeful so a meaningless job is a dead end and we don't want you to be in a dead end job and what happened the result like i said is frustration and all types of angst which means that pro productivity level and all kinds of negativity uh, is then you know uh, the, the 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 result of your of your of you not finding meaning. So having a sense of purpose at work uh, makes us feel as though what we do matters. You know that this matters on on uh, you know in in this space in my life at this job I matter and everybody wants to wants to matter. You know there's that. Um, I think it's Seinfeld, you know, the, the theme song where everybody wants to go where people know your name, you know, so you, we want to, we want to be connected. We want to be relevant. Um, so it is having a sense of purpose at work makes, makes us, makes us not only feel like we matter, but it also makes us feel like we're being productive, that, that we're, what we're doing, the sense of meaning that we, we derive from, from, from the job, you know, makes us more productive. Um, 34% of employ employees say that they are engaged at work. That's the recent study that was done. 34. That is that you know this should get all employers and companies, you know, it should get a reaction from all of us because 34% of people say they're engaged at work, which means that the lack of engagement in the United States, you know, is costing your company money. 
it's costing us money in the United States. You know, an estimated 500, according to Forbes, a, 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 an estimated 500 billion annually because people don't get a sense of purpose and a sense of meaning in their work. So this is an imperative. This is imperative for businesses to begin to look at purpose as not just a soft a soft skill but it that as something that is vital to the very life and health of your company which is what we do at jars education group we come to your company and help you infuse life back into it you know organizations be, be, begin to see the economic benefits of 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 having people who find meaning working for you you know um and so when what what this looks like is that i'm working at a job where i'm not only satisfying the company's mission and vision but i'm also getting my own uh, desires met you know everybody in the company is going to uh, encounter some kind of challenges at some point in your life you know we're gonna it doesn't it's not it doesn't mean that you know it doesn't mean that there is there are no challenges. Everybody's going to encounter some kind of challenges. But what purpose does is it keeps you grounded in the sense of gratitude and meaning in a way that you know financial metrics or quarterly targets just don't do it. You know sometimes you you would actually take a pay cut or you would you yes just to just to find meaning in that job that you're pursuing. So uh, a professor from Yale actually coined a phrase called job crafting. Job crafting uh, is the ability to take the job that you're currently doing and modify it, adapt it in such a way that it also meets your own needs. So let's say you're not working in, the, in, your, in your dream job. You know, this is not the job. This is not where I want to be. Well, job crafting is saying that I can change my cognition, I can change my task, and I can change my relationship boundaries boundaries in order to in order to find some meaning so cognitively i can change i can change the task that i'm assigned to and i can change my relationship boundaries within this company within this school within this hospital within this wherever firm that i am in and to in order to facilitate my own my own sense of purpose and and meaning I hope that makes sense. So job uh, job crafting, what uh, basically, if we define a, a job, what, what a job is, is basic, it's basically uh, a set of tasks. You know, you get your set of tasks and some relationships. That's what it is. You know, a collection of tasks and interpersonal relationships. And so what job crafting is the ability to customize that job so to better fit your own strengths and your own passions and your own motives. And so what does that look like? Well, it looks like one, job crafting, it looks like, you know, you're changing your perception. You remember I talked about cognition. You have to change your perception of what that, of, of the value of that job. You have to assign value to what you do, you know. So instead of seeing yourself as just a, a, a clerk or a manager or, you know, wh whatever your job title is and who is assigned to do some task. Well, give some value to that. And so it could be, let's say you're a cleaner in a school, a janitor in a school or some company, instead of you thinking yourself as just that, we, you know, see yourself as, um, as part of the whole, you know, you're part of the system bringing education to educating these children. You know, you're part of the, of the system who is bringing health and, 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 whole, and wholeness to, to people in the hospital. You know, you, you know, you think yourself, you have to change the way you think about it. You know, so you're part of a bigger vision. Once you start to think of, of yourself as that, then there's more value. So when you go clean, you know, the restrooms or you clean the floor or whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing with such vigor because without you, they're not going to be educated, you know, because you, you, you now matter. You know, if you are the clerk at the store who is a cashier, who is just, you know, standing there and just has to keep ringing things up. Well, you just say, you know, I'm bringing joy into people's life without me being able to be here. You know, they're not going to have food to eat. They're not going to do this. So I am allowing people, I'm an, I'm, 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 I'
enabling the uh, the people to to live the life that they want, to get what they need in, in their life. So when you so when you're scanning those things, you have your joy. You're joyful about it because you're bringing. You know now you have meaning. You're doing something. You're doing something important in people's lives. And that makes sense, you know. So, and this this also connects to managers and supervisors and wherever you are, architects and, and, and doctors and teachers. And you find the meaning in the work that you do. Find the meaning in the work that you do and connect it to the organization where you work. If you're working for yourself, it's different. It's, a, it's different. But if you're working for somebody, you have to connect that to the bigger vision, to the bigger vision, to the, vi the bigger mission of the organization. And, um, oh, I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to hurry this last two. The second one is you can alter the boundaries of the task. It's they're just task, you know, but you can decide how you're going to perform them. You know, bring your own creativity into it bring your own personalized um, system into it so that it becomes yours it becomes meaningful this is how I do this, this is how I'm going to organize my time this is how I'm going to fulfill this particular task you know and then last but not the less but not the least is um, relationships relationships matter you know if you are you know a people facing person make sure that you volunteer to do those things if your job is ad administrative and even if you're not a uh, you, you 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 people face but you think that um you need to move higher in a company or you need to um uh, you need to find more meaning doing some other things that your department doesn't work on well volunteer in another department you know it might mean a little bit more work but it'll be more meaningful to you you know network with people who are not in your department Department. Network with people who are in your department because you never know how they're going to add value to your life. And all of a sudden, you, you mind coming to work to your department might not be what brings you there, but because you're going to see that other person, or because you you know that you're going to add value to that to that to somebody or to a project. So this is how you job craft and. Um, Today, we're going to leave it at that because we're already past the 10 minutes. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. You can find me at Dr. Akin Marino on social media. All right. Have a good day.